Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, you had, you had uh, some notes on the reason why AEW is loading up these shows. And I know you talked to Brian a little bit about it. And I guess when I was reading it, it's you wrote that this is that they're still only negotiating with Warner Brothers and that they're in they're in negotiations as we speak. Yeah. OK, now, if you're if I'm Warner Brothers and I understand the idea about hot shotting, why if they can increase the ratings by just throwing their what I consider to be their biggest money match, if it is built correctly at the wall for this show that th th that's going to impress them rather than saying, oh, like they are basically giving us their best possible pay-per-view match to raise. Like, it just seems like there's a game going on and I don't understand why this matters as much as it might. He's just looking for, he's just, he's looking for something to, to um, I don't say reverse the momentum, but get the spark back. I don't know that that's the answer. The thing with AEW, the, the, the thing is, is that um, I think with, with Tony, one of the things when things are down is that he wants to improve the the wrestling, but that's not the problem. Isn't the the wrestling content? I mean, it's, it's always good that it's good. You know what I mean? It's but it's not. Um, that's not what's going to turn it around. I mean, that is what it is what put them on the map. But you know, things change, and um, you know, you you have to pivot to the changes. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you're getting lots and lots of good matches. And they, you know, look, they can. There's there's ways to do this match on TV, you know, um, before, you know, and build it up. I mean, Bruno and Zabisco did their first match on TV and, you know what I mean? And uh, and and multiple matches at arenas all over before they had their their big money match. So it's like it's not like if you do it once, you can never do it again. Um, you know, you can do something to further the storyline if that's the case, um, you know, and maybe that's the case. I don't I don't know. I don't know what the long term is, but um you know, he wants the 250th show to be a big show and he wants blood and guts to be a big show, but they're, 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 they're stagnated, I guess is the right term. And I mean, it's even more than stagnated because, um, this week, I mean, this week, the, 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 the male number was, was weak for such a great show. It really was. And why, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, I think, uh, um, there's so many hours in a week and NXT had a good show and, and it, it's, it's just um, they're fighting. They're fighting a tough fight. It's not easy, and these numbers are the most important things. And he's looking for a way to to boost the numbers, and uh, that's what you do. Um, so, even uh, even uh, if he's not now. negotiating with anybody else, I would, ima he would I would imagine he'd still want to be boosting the numbers now. Right, right. I imagine that is also for the outside folks who may want to do business if this doesn't work with WBD to get that trending in the right direction. Yeah. Even, even more so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you, so I, I guess this is a slightly, it's not a disconnect, but it's slightly different from what Tony presents to the, to, to the media through the media, which is, you know, we've heard the red zone. We've heard mm -hmm. there. Everything has been so positive. The relationship with Warner brothers is great nothing but positivity when it comes to this deal. And, and mm -hmm. you, did, you did write that, you know, until it's signed, you can't really take it for granted. I never were. I never, I mean, it's like, I, I write about it every week, but it's like, I never take anything until it's signed. I mean, it's like, I've, I've been in TV deals before and they're wonderful until you get to the last step mm -hmm. and then they fall apart. Everyone glad hands you. Everyone says great stuff until you get to the last step. You're not at the last step. Um, you know, I mean, the numbers he, he's the numbers he said he's talked about and the way he presents it is that they're they're about to be home free. He said that over and over and over again. And that may very well be the case. I have no reason to think that it's not. Yeah. But you know, again, you know, it's like until that thing is announced, um, you go with the idea that it, it, it very well could be true. Um, but when it's announced, you know, that that's that's the game. That's the game changer. What were your thoughts on the Wednesday rating? Um, like I said, I thought that the, uh, for such a good show, and actually I thought it was a great show. I thought, um, but you know, people don't know that in advance, but still it was the final of the Owen Hart tournament. It was Brian Danielson and Adam page, which is two major stars 
was Mariah May and Willow, which is, you know, two major stars with a storyline building to the end of the tournament. And, um, you know, and there were other good matches than the Mercedes, you know, Britt Baker thing is strong. Coming so, off of MJF at the end of Dynamite and MJF on Collision. Right. Right, right. Coming off of the MJF angle the week before. So I would say the week before rating was really good, even though it was, you know, I guess you could say um, lower. I mean, it was slightly low. It's been very, very slightly lower the week before. But that was, you know, a holiday. Um, so this one, you know, and a lot less viewers watching TV. Now there were a lot, there were a lot of normal viewers, watch, number of viewers watching TV. And they had tougher competition. But I, I wouldn't, like, celebrate it. Um, you know, I was... You know, I mean, but this way, the the audience of women, the women audience, I thought was extremely good for AEW. The men's audience was not. Um, both all the way, eighteen to thirty four was lower than I would have liked. Thirty five to forty nine was much lower than I would have liked because that's the steady audience. So, so no, nah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's it's not a disaster or nothing, but it's uh, it's lower numbers than I would have expected with the especially with the established. Um, what I would call like that 35 to 9, 35 to 49 male audiences like the one that's the solid audience. That's the one I hate to see go down. And it was low for a great show. You know, if it was a normal show, maybe not, but for a great show. So it's uh it's just a tough situation that they're in right now. That's all there is to it. There's a perception issue. You know, I mean, just doing great matches and doing great TV shows isn't going to turn around today, will it over the long haul? if something gets over, I mean, I could tell you so many companies that were doing great, great, great television that, that went out of business because the economics of the time were what they were. And I'm not saying AEW is going to go out of business because I don't believe for a second that they are. I think they're going to be fine. But as far as turning these ratings around, um, it's tough. It is just, it's just, you know, it's just really tough in the position that they're in without, um, you know, I mean, if they went and, um, you know, were able to do it with, uh, WCW did, which is hire the entire top of the lineup, you know, the Hulk Hogan's and everyone like that, John, you know, bring in John Cena and bring in Bill Goldberg and bring in, you know, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Sure. They could turn it around with that, but that's not going to happen. They've turned around with, uh, you know, with basically, um, good wrestlers and, and mostly non, uh, WWE guys. And you're, you're in the position WCW was in during the period that they did not have Hulk Hogan, when in fact they did have really great pay-per-views and they did have at certain points, really, really great wrestling and great television and great talkers and all that stuff. And they were in essentially, you know, a worse version of this same position. So it's just, you know, you study wrestling history and, um, you know, I, 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 I cannot come up with a, someone who's made this position work, but, um, you know, I mean, as far as, you know, turning that aspect of the business around. Um, like I said, WCW did, but they did it by essentially over, you know, and essentially outpaying WWE for big stars and it was a much weaker WWE. So, you know, it's like if, if it was the $80 million a year grossing WWE, yeah, they'd probably sign everyone and run them out of business, this group, but it's, it's not, um, it's not 1995 or 1996 right now. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.